Well, eye floaters are basically things that uh, we see uh, which are really not there. Like for example, a lot of people would say they thought they saw some hair or like cobwebs or like dots, lines, you know, a triangle. It's described in different um, descriptions, in other words. Well, one of the most common causes of eye floaters would be an aging change called posterior vitreous detachment. So inside the eye, there's a fluid or a gel that's called vitreous. When we're born, this fluid is very, very thick and it is normally attached to a part of the eye called the retina. So as we get older, this gel liquefies on its own and it comes off from the retina. So when that phenomenon happens, then we can see floaters. Um, number two, um, it can also be caused by bleeding inside the eye. So if there's bleeding inside the eye and if the blood goes into the fluid or the gel of the eye, then we can also see floaters. So bleeding can be caused by a lot of uh, diseases in the eye. One of the most common would be if your eye already has what we call a diabetic retinopathy and this is of course caused by uh, diabetes. Um, Number two is definitely if your eye got hit, you can get bleeding inside the eye and you can see floaters. Uh, the other common cause of floaters would be a retinal tear or a retinal hole. So if the retina gets torn, sometimes we can get a little bleeding okay, and that would give us floaters. So that's why anytime a patient um, complaints of floaters, especially new floaters, what we would do is we would dilate the pupil so that we can check the retina entirely to see if this is a serious problem or if it's not a serious problem. It depends on the cause, okay? So if it's just a benign aging condition called posterior vitreous detachment, there's no treatment for it, okay? What's most important if there's floaters is to determine the cause. Um, number two, if there is a retinal tear, then you have to treat the tear. If it is just a tear, then you can laser it right away so that it will not lead to what we call a retinal detachment. Because if there's a tear or hole on the retina, then the gel or the fluid of the eye can go into that tear, go under the retina and cause a retinal detachment. If there is retinal detachment, then of course you need surgery already for that. Okay. If it is from diabetes, if there's a little blood only, then sometimes the blood would go away by itself. But you need to treat the diabetic retinopathy because if not, then the bleeding might stop but later on they will get bleeding again. If there is severe or significant abnormal vessels on the retina that's pulling on the retina already, then you would most of the time need surgery already.